A DC motor has a magnetization curve that was measured at 1200 RPM that is given by the table below. This table. There was a typo. This 131 should be 181 as was explained. The motor was meant to be a compound excitation motor, but it was wired incorrectly. This box represents the DC motor. These are the terminals F1 and F2 of the shunt field coil. S1 and S2 are the terminals of the series coil. And A1 and A2 are the terminals of the armature coil. Externally to that motor, there is a DC source, VT, and three resistors, R1, R2, and R3. All those values are given. VT is 200 volts, IT, this current, is 100 amps, R1, R2, and R3 are given, and the resistances of the armature, the shunt coil, the series coil, the number of turns in the shunt coil, and in the series coil are also given. The question is, draw the equivalent circuit of this situation, first part, and then determined the velocity of rotation of the machine in RPM, wired like so. Here we have the equivalent circuit. The external source, VT, has its positive connected to A1 and its negative connected to A2 directly. And we see that here, positive to A1, negative to A2. And the armature coil is represented RA plus EA by its Thevenin equivalent. Next, the positive over the external source is connected to R2, and R2 goes to S1. The positive goes to R2, and R2 goes to S1, and between S1 and S2 we have the series coil in here. Also, between the positive and the negative of the source, we have R1. Oh well, positive R1. And R1 goes to F1, R1 goes to F1, and between F1 and F2 there is the shunt field coil, and connected also between F1 and F2 in parallel with the shunt coil, we have R3 over here. R3, that is the equivalent circuit. Now, let's go and find what are the currents in each one of those coils to determine the velocity of rotation of this machine. Let me determine this current, IS. That current is just VT divided by these two resistances in series. That is 200 volts of the external battery divided by 200 ohms in series with 0 0.02. That current in the series coil is 0 0.999, so it is approximately 1 amp. Next, we determine the field current, IF, but that current is just a current divider of IX between these two resistors. Let's compute IX then. IX is this source value divided by the combined resistance of R1, RF, and R3. R1 in series with RF in parallel with R3. IX is VT divided by R1 in series with the parallel of RF and R3. We substitute the values and the calculator tells us that the result is there is a current in this case of 0 0.8421 amps. Only a fraction of that current IX will be IF. The current divider tells us how much of that will be IX times R3 divided by the sum of RF plus R3 as we saw in second year. That's what it is. The field current is the current divider of Ix between these two resistors. In this particular type of exam, both resistors have the same value, so this current is merely half the current Ix. This is it. Well, we have this current, that one, this one. What about the armature current? Hmm, we have the total current and this one IS and that IX, of course, using KCL. In this node, we can determine 
the missing current IA. And that is exactly what I'm about to do. That current is 98 amps with 1.6. That is the current in the armature. With that current now, and this resistor, and the value of the external source, we can determine what is the actual induced voltage in the armature EA. EA is merely VT minus this drop, RA, IA, minus this drop. That is EA. Like so. EA is VT minus RA, IA. And if we substitute the values that we have already, including IA that we just computed, we determine EA. 181 amps. Of course, these many digits is ridiculous in the final result, but in the intermediate ones, I will keep them. Now that we know what is EA for real, let me find what does the curve say EA should be knowing IF star. And for IF star, we will use IS that we know. Check this one. IF that we also know. Check. We don't use IA for that because there is no armature reaction contemplated in this exercise. Let's compute IF star. There, that is, IF star is IF that we know plus NS over NF, the number of turns of the series and the shunt coil multiplied by the series coil current, which are also known. Given that this current is 1 amp, this is 10 turns and 2700 turns, this term is almost negligible, but we are going to compute that anyway. And it is 0 0.4246. I'm copying from the screen of the calculator for 7 amps. With that value, we go to the curve, to this curve, and we interpolate between 0 0.4 and Netization 0 0.6. curve that was measured at 1200. The curve says that for an IF start like this one, EA should have been 170.5 volts if the velocity had been 1200 RPM. But the actual EA was this one, so the velocity is greater than 1200 RPM. And this is the velocity of rotation of that machine. Thank you very much.